how to do the plow pose. You may also want to consult a qualified yoga instructor to ensure that you are correctly positioned the first few times you try this pose. The plow pose is essentially a noble pose turned on its head, or rather, turned on your head. You will need comfortable clothing suitable for stretching and moving, a calm place where you won't be distracted or disturbed, a yoga mat or folded blanket, and an extra blanket or two. Warm up your neck and shoulders by doing other yoga poses first, like the cat cow, the cobra, and the bridge poses. Step one, lie down on your back and bring your knees to your chest, leaving your hands on the floor beside your hips with your elbows tucked close at your sides. For extra neck protection, place a folded blanket or two on your mat. Lie down with your shoulders on this elevated platform so your head rests on the mat two to four inches lower than your shoulders. Step two, press your hands into the ground to help lift your hips up off the floor with your knees still bent at your chest. Step three, move your hands to your lower back near your hips so your bent elbows are as close together as possible and your upper arms are on the mat. Step four, walk your hands down your back slowly so your torso rises higher and more upright until you are resting on your shoulders. The base of your neck should be lifted and the back of your head resting on the ground so there is no stress on the neck. Step five, straighten your knees, creating a straight line from your heels down through your shoulders. Step six, hold this pose for a few breaths. Step seven, lower your feet to the floor behind your head so your legs are straight and your toes are on the mat pointing toward your head. If you cannot bring your toes to the floor, lower them as far as possible or bend your knees, keeping your hands on your lower back to support yourself. Step eight, clasp your hands behind your back and pull your shoulders underneath themselves to ensure that your neck is elevated. To vary the pose, reach your hands to your feet and loop your index and middle fingers around your big toes. Step nine, breathe several relaxed and even breaths, but don't try to breathe deeply, you're too compressed to do so. Step 10, release the pose by placing your hands flat on the floor behind your back and roll your spine down slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Good job, you've been a model plow. Perform a posture like the locust, fish, cobra, or bridge pose to ease your neck and back. Did you know? A plow is referred to in the most ancient Hindu text, the Rig Veda, dating to the second millennium BC.